Good morning. Sunday morning. Happy Sunday. Welcome to Education and welcome to another episode of You Laugh, You Lose. If you are new to this channel and new to this series, the game is simple. If you laugh at anything, you lose and you have to do a punishment. What is today's punishment? Today's punishment is if you laugh, you lose and you have to binge the entire Chucky series, the entire Child's Play series, the most terrifying movie series in the history of movie series. I know, terrifying. So don't lose today. We're leading up to Halloween, so we got to do a little scary punishment today. And that's what you got to do. If you accept the terms of today's game, head down and like this video. And if you are new here, please make sure you are subscribed and have the bell clicked for notifications when new videos are uploaded. Now on to today's game. If you laugh, you lose, go. Just stop oil, but not until my flight is over. <laughs> Idiots, man. And they, they don't have the brain power to see how silly they look. <laughs> it's okay, baby. I got you. <laughs> Dude, the Chiefs are the new Patriots. Every call goes their way. Uh, when they do a penalty, when they commit crime on the field, nothing happens to them. This is what the refs do. It's a joke. It's a scam. The Vikings should have beat them. Don't, don't lie, guys. Me. Don't do it, my toddler. <laughs> All right. All of you that have toddlers, right now you're just, you're going. Because <sighs> it's true, man. There's some toddlers don't care. They're little monsters sometimes. <laughs> this is what they do. I bet he's thinking about other women. But why the hell is there a B in the word doubt? See, these are the things that keep us up at night. We're not talking to other women. We're thinking about the real problems of the world this is one of them why is there a freaking b in doubt when you forget you have a bill on auto pay and you get an email saying thank you for your payment this reminds me i've got a, a debit card coming up on expiration and i'm kind of excited to see what things i've been paying for that i don't remember that i'm paying for Do you know what i'm saying let it expire it's always a good thing and you get to see all the the things you've been forgetting don't get to that point though Check your statements and make sure you're not paying for stuff you don't want to be paying for. I don't know the secret to happiness, but I've never been sad while eating queso. Oh, dude, look at that. It's still breakfast time here while I'm filming, but I would eat all of that right now. I don't even care what it does to me after. Dude, look at that. That's just delicious. And it is one of the secrets to happiness. They don't say that much, but it is. Okay, so naked running. Apparently this means running without GPS, music, and any other tech. I wish I knew this scenario. One of those weird trends, man. What are you doing? Running without music? Are you nuts? Running without GPS to see how far you've gone? Are you nuts? I found a 12-year-old steak wedged in my mom's freezer. Why does that look cooked? Dude, look at the price on that. Does that say $3.93? Are you kidding me? For a whole pound. Dude. Holy crap, that's like a freaking $12 steak right now. Uh, I'd be, uh, looks good to me. Eat it. Grocery stores be like, <laughs> to the previous meme. Yeah, 1995. Dude, I just, I chose turkey burger over ground beef this past week. That's where we're at with inflation. I never do that. It was like $7 for freaking 80 20, dude. Hi, Jamal. I love this photo of myself in Paris. Could you please remove that long metal thing? Thanks, Anya. There you go. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's the long metal thing you meant. Of course. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Soon you'll start at 5 p.m. It is that time of year, isn't it? We're getting there. Ah. Oh. Dads hate shopping on road trips because then all of the vehicles they worked hard to pass for the last hour get back ahead of them. That's what keeps us going. Love road trips, but you're fighting the, the estimated arrival time. Try to beat that. And once you're shaving off minutes, once you're passing vehicles, you don't want to stop because then you lose all that progress you made. Pit stops, you got to be quick about them. When you become an Uber driver and you drop off a dude at your girlfriend's house... 
was not funny. But, uh, dude, you got to get out of that relationship if that's you, man. Breen, slap it. Me, why? Just do it. Pop, pop. You got to. Every time you pass one of those garden soil, fertilizer, grill pellets, pop, pop. You have to every time you pass it. Pop, pop. People who say, go big or go home, seriously underestimate my willingness to go home. It's my only goal. It is a great feeling going home, you know, after social events. The social events, they're nice sometimes, but they're tiring. You know, there's nothing better than sitting at home. <laughs> Go be social, folks. It's a joke. I have been nominated to a 25 push-ups a day for 25 days challenge. I block that person. <laughs> What was the cause you ignored, man? What was the cause? Shame on you. People in Pittsburgh actually eat pizza where the crust is cooked and toppings are put on cold. So to answer your question, yes, Pittsburgh is as bad as it sounds. Is that real? Do they, re they really do this? This is like Pittsburgh style pizza? For God's sake, send in the military. Save the people of Pittsburgh. What is, oh, come on. I swear I saw a bunch of ladies swimming. What in the hell? I kind of do too. What is that? Is that a broil? Is that a freaking crawdad broil? A couple of muscles in there? That looks like ladies sw swimming. It totally does. <laughs> how boys be wanting their beard to turn out versus how it actually turns out. Folks, we're coming up on uh, that special month. <laughs> yeah, we're, it's coming, man. It's coming. And I can't wait. <laughs> My wife is excited, too. Listing. Charming home with minor settling cracks. The house. No foundational issues there. Go ahead. Million dollars right there. 8% rate. That's where we are. When you get out of the shower and stare at yourself in the mirror, wondering where it all went wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> Poor bastard. It happens. You know, you start raising kids. You get addicted to pizza every night. Pizza and pasta just taste so good. Start drinking soda. That's where it all went wrong, man. <laughs> I'll fix it later. <laughs> and they forgot. They forgot the old clamp. Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry, clasp. <laughs> if you get it, you get it. Sometimes I think I'm too picky. Then I watch my dog look for a place to poop. <sighs> Nothing worse than like being on a schedule, waiting for your dog to pick a place. It's like, come on, man. There's like, there's a whole grass field here. Pick a place, man. I gotta go. When you're trying to be quiet, getting a midnight snack. I gotta know the story behind this. Someone got pissed off, maybe. Someone turned into the Hulk, maybe. What happened here? Give me your best guess in the comments. Give me a little story. You know, five sentence, five sentences max. Jackson Mahomes trying to scale his way into Kelsey's suite to do a TikTok with Taylor. <laughs> oh man, I'm so I'm, I'm pretty over it. I'm over it. You know that awful feeling you get on Sunday when you remember you work tomorrow? Never happens to a cat. You know, for those religions and people that believe in reincarnation it doesn't get much better than a cat if that if you had to choose like you just get to hang out all day that's it you just get to sleep and hang out you know play with a little toy here and there what that's a crazy life man you just get to do that for up to 20 years 16 to 20 years you know 929 raccoons on porch with babies wouldn't move what the is this uh you're your UPS package didn't get delivered because of that? Ah, <laughs> oh, delivery people. I'm sure you guys have, all have stories. <laughs> this is a good one. You're having a bad day. Just remember, someone bought this watermelon. They didn't sample it, the people growing these. They didn't say, hey, maybe we should take a sample of the watermelon we just grew in our garden before we sell them. Surprisingly, this is not the worst I've ever seen. Cashier, 
Would you like to donate $5 to a very good cause? My dinner. <laughs> Try some ramen. Ramen is a little bit cheaper than that, but... And stop asking. Stop doing that at the cashiers. I hate that iPhone users when the Apple event reveals something that Androids have had for years. Yeah, but hey, guess what? We don't have that stupid green text box, do we? Anybody ever think about that? I don't care. Going to the gym gives you energy, but you need energy to go to the gym. Sounds like a pyramid scheme to me. <laughs> yeah, that's one pyramid scheme they don't really talk about, going to the gym. When somebody knows your name, but you don't know theirs. I can tell her Swift. It's got to play it off, man. It's got to play it off. You should really work on remembering people's names, but I get it. If it's been 15 years since high school, it happens, man. People change. Before the internet, some kid told you Paul from the Wonder Years was actually Marilyn Manson, and you'd go on believing it for 20 years. Was that a thing? Was that like a, a conspiracy? I'm not incredibly familiar with Wonder Years, but I, I do remember that character. Like, people went on believing that. I love that. See, this is why... It wouldn't be a terrible thing to live without the internet. You know, we, we, we get the fun, the, the fun conspiracies and we'd have to work for them. We didn't have to go to the library and requ request records from Congress, stuff like that. It'd be great. Before I became a parent, I didn't realize it was possible to ruin someone's life by just cutting their pancake the wrong way. <laughs> uh, back to toddlers, man. Dude, they, get, they, they lose it over the most irrational, insane things. They just don't know. But it, this is one of the things. You cut it the wrong way, the day is ruined. Me already going five miles per hour above the speed limit. The BMW behind me. The worst kinds of people. Shame on them. Straight to hell. What my back needs. If your back needs that, um feel like you're going to cause further damage down the road. Take care of your back, folks. It's important. Work on those core muscles. Go to the gym. Get the pyramid scheme at the gym. Everyone is a gangster until it's time to walk in or out of the hunting spot at dark. <laughs> Dude, that's scary, man. It's kind of scary. You don't know what's out there. Could be a bear. Could be a squirrel. Could be the Blair Witch. You don't know. Working with custom cake is my passion. Another satisfied customer. <laughs> looks, uh, looks just like him. Nice work. The spiders in my house watching me put up spider decorations after killing their brother. <laughs> they're probably just confused as hell. It's like, wait, you just... Wait. They're, they're confused as hell, man. Apple cider is way better than pumpkin spice. It's the superior fall beverage, and I'm willing to throw down over this. I would have 100% agree. 100%. I don't know how the pumpkin spice thing even became a thing. It's all the marketing people at Starbucks. At Starbies, apple cider, have a real drink. I can't wait for my day off. Me on my day off. <laughs> you gotta relax, right? Catch up on sleep. I understand. I get it. Drew this on everything. Still doesn't know what it means. I feel like this is like a gang sign, you know? And we all were drawing it throughout school. And nobody knows why. Nobody knows where it came from. Nobody knows what gang it represents. But everyone drew it. Does anyone know? Like, do we have any history on this thing? How I think college is going to change me. How college actually changed me. <laughs> yep, you bought $100,000 cap and piece of paper. That's literally all you did. And you have a couple of stories about going to parties. That's, that's literally what every kid has out of college. And you might have blue hair after you're done. You never know. I think you can tell how rocky someone's childhood was by how early they get excited for Halloween. <laughs> I'd say it's a fact check true. How early do you get excited for Halloween? What was your childhood trauma? Hot dogs. <laughs> I am actually mad at myself for laughing at that. I like shame on you. Get a sense of humor. It's not funny. Before I agree to 2024, I want to read the terms and conditions. 
Yeah. You get to you get 2024 whether you like it or not. All right, so terms and conditions don't care about you. When it's 2023 and there's a new Saw movie and Blink-182 album coming out in the same month. It, dude, it's a weird time. It's like a everyone's happy that the Blink-182 stuff's coming out, but it's also like this fall back to middle school uh, reminiscence thing. You're like, oh man, life's going fast. It's kind of depressing, right? Saw, there was it Saw 10? Then you got to go watch Saw 1, which has like the best ending of all time besides Sixth Sense. It's a weird time. Weird time. Spoiler. For those who haven't finished Friends yet, Phoebe kills Ross and ends up in jail. <laughs> you might as well not even watch it. Don't waste your time. Is a fact check true? All of you Friends people confirm in the comments. All of you Friends fans. You know this happens. So uh, don't... Don't try to hide it. Don't try to suck more people into your cult. Me, did you just shit your pants? My <laughs> toddler. <laughs> oh, we got a, a lot of toddler memes bringing the Kevin James, keeping this Kevin James stuff alive. I love this. This is, uh, it's funny because it's true. Nobody, me and my son. <laughs> it's a beautiful picture, man. <laughs> You'll remember this one. Put that as your background on your phone. It's insane how beautiful life can be. <laughs> this brings a tear to my eye. This is 99 cents or what is a dollar for a hot dog? You got the water cup for free, but there's soda in there. You know, it's after you just spent a thousand dollars when you went in to go get diapers for the kid. Yeah, man. Life can be beautiful. I've never actually heard guys introduce themselves. How do y'all find out each other's names? We usually just wait until we hear somebody else say it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Been here several times in the last couple years. Never introduce yourself. When the food is nasty, but you don't want to hurt someone's feelings. Also been here too. Pretend like you're wiping your mouth and you spit out the food at the same time. Put the napkin over the remaining food, pretending like you ate it, and you throw it away. It is what it is. Don't call yourself a rock fan if you don't know who this is. I had this one before. That's Pat Benatar. Everyone knows that. What drink is in this picture? That is uh, grape Kool-Aid and or Tang. You guys remember Tang? Remember the commercials for Tang? It was like marketing genius. Loved it. Whatever happened? Did they still have it? I think we've been over this. Have they? Do they have it? Netflix and Hulu got one more price raise before I dust off that DVD player. This is why we save the DVDs, folks. If you look at that stack of DVDs right next to you, I know it's in your living room as you're watching this. That's your new streaming service. Enjoy it. We gotta stop. We gotta put our foot down on these price hikes on these freaking streaming services. It's nuts. In the 1980s, hamburgers ate you. I briefly remember this in the 90s when I was a kid. Kind of a, a badass playground, if you ask me. And they got rid of it. It's a shame. We have a bocce tonight, baby. Yeah, have fun buying a new uh, stove top there. <laughs> we can steal your man. Shoddy in the background look like she's going to steal the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> <laughs> Nicholas Cage looks like kind of a little bit. I was walking to the gig and I heard a person say, oh my God, that's Michael Bublé. And then the person beside them said, who gives a shit? <laughs> I love that he he posted this. That's amazing. <laughs> this is payback for the Titanic, mother trucker. <laughs> the hell's going on here? There's a real photo, obviously. What, what are you shooting at, buddy? It's a century ago, all right? Stop losing sleep over it. I'm glad you care, though. Say goodbye to the man bun. Say hello to the he hive. Dear God, no, please don't let this be a thing. I entered the... Tyrion Lannister as my name on my order. This is what I got. Impin ain't easy. <laughs> Dude, I ha I think he's my favorite character on Game of Thrones. I love that guy. Uh, I'm trying to think here. Jon Snow's all right. It's got to be Tyrion. Do you guys agree? Anyone that watched Game of Thrones, who's your favorite? 
You have my sword and my bow. And I believe you have my stapler. Legend. Doesn't get enough credit. Doesn't get enough credit in the meme world. Uh, the off or uh, office space, sorry. If you've never seen it, enjoy. You're welcome. When you brought your A-game to the argument and now shoddy over there crying. <laughs> you don't want to do that. Like, you shouldn't be making your significant other cry like that. It's not good. Wedding speeches are so easy, you don't even have to make a real joke. Just say a problem they have. And we all know Chris loves wine. Hysteria. Applause break. That's all. Right. Just just follow the the blueprints. Like, don't go over the top with your wedding speeches. I've seen some some really good ones, and I've seen some really big train wrecks. Just stick to the script, okay? Me scrolling past the eight thousandth Taylor Swift post of the day. It is truly out of control. We've had what have we had? Like three, four Taylor Swift memes already. We're gripped, man. We're gripped by the the T Swift hysteria. Every time I drive in the rain, I check other drivers' wipers just to see if I'm being too dramatic with mine. I have to say, I've never done that. Really don't care what other people are doing. If it's if it deserves a, you do the. If you need to do it every 30 seconds, you go click, wipe, off. It's that simple. That's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. An orchestra of 120 players takes 40 minutes to play Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. How long would it take for 60 players to play the symphony? Let P be the number of players and T the time playing. 4,800 players Beethoven's Ninth Symphony speed run. It's not even music anymore, it's just a shockwave that kills you instantly. Teachers, figure out your questions. Quit confusing the kids. Dumb. How likely are you to recommend Windows 10 to a friend or colleague? One, not at all likely. Please explain why you gave this score. I need you to understand that people don't have conversations where they randomly recommend operating systems to one another. <laughs> yeah, I no, never had this conversation and probably never will. What if nobody was president and we all promised real hard to just be cool? We could try it, but there's always, oh, it just takes one person. One person to subscribe to the Machiavellian ways, and then it's over. Enters through a two-inch cracked window, can't figure out how to leave through the wide-open door. Little bastards. Dude, and this happens from, like, August into frickin' November. And somehow, you know, you kill one fly, and next thing you know, there's two more flying around your house. I, I don't get it, man. Cue the Joe Biden fly clip. Let's play that. Never forget he said this. <laughs> oh, the, the fly. There's a flicking on a fly. I no more think of myself as being as old as I am than fly. From Heidi, last night was amazing. We need to do that again. I've never felt anything like that in my life. Just felt something even better, LOL. Got onto a par five and two. Long eagle putt, bang. What the F is wrong with you? <laughs> Have you ever got onto a five and two though? There's not much that equates to that feeling. It's amazing. And have you ever sunk that eagle putt? One time, one time. Have you ever chipped in an eagle from 90 yards out? Huh? Have you ever done that? Even better. Apparently, I'm a psychopath because I do 2, 4, 1, 3, 5. What? 1, 3, 5, 2, 4 is the only right way. 1, 3, 5, 2, 4. I start 4, 1, 4, 1, 3, 5, 2, 4. Yeah. What the hell? These people are both nuts. My all-time favorite date idea. There's no rule that says you need to be a parent to rent a bouncy castle. Oh, I'm so in. I guess you can do that. I think you can actually get them for pretty cheap. So if you guys are going halvesies, it could be in a rom-com somewhere. You know, but write your own rom-com, I guess. How'd you do in today's video? Did you laugh at all? If you did, you lose. You got to go binge Chucky. It's your punishment today. Let me know how you did down in the comments. While you're down there, please like this video. Please help us get it recommended to others. That's it for today's video. Until next time, I'm Tyler Zed, and this is Education. 12, 15, oops, stepping on them. There's a, it's black, anyway. Idiots.
Thanks for watching today's show. If you have not yet, head over to Amazon or Barnes & Noble or Target or Walmart and check out my new book, Trailer Park Bearable, and pre-order your copy today.